I'm going to show how I make a couple of different size and style tabletops. One's going to be round, one is going to be round, and one's going to be rectangle. So right here, I have two 27 inch wide by six foot long tabletops, but they want them to be two and a half inches thick. So what I'm going to do is build these up almost like a hollow core door and put little runners inside here. So there'll be a top piece plywood and a bottom piece of plywood with these runners in between, just like a hollow core door. And then on the edges, I'll trim it with this poplar to hide the plies on the sides. So the first thing I'm gonna do to make these rectangle tops is cut this poplar to two and a half inches. And then I'll stand it up on its edge and rip that in half and have two pieces, one for each side and then the, the drop cut will be the two ends. So it'll be all trimmed out. So as you follow along with me now, you'll know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. After that, I'm gonna show you how I make round tabletops. Same customer asked for two of these. So I'll show you how I cut them and trim them. I hate finishing a cut like this where it's real narrow. So I'll take the wood off the blade, flip it over, and finish it up. Now here is a 12 foot board. So I know I have more than enough. So I'm not even gonna finish this cut. I'm just gonna go to the miter saw, knock that off, throw it away. Then I'll have my two parts. Now I can see them five eighths instead of three quarters, just like we talked about. It was three quarters to start. I cut an eighth inch out in the middle, giving me five eighths overall. So now I'm going to cut 27 inches minus five eighths off my top and bottom piece of the tabletops. Now I'll get them all stacked up evenly, cut them all at the same time to six feet. Now we have two tops and two bottoms all exactly like. Now I'll cut the spacers. I cut these a, an inch and a half wide because there's a half inch top, half inch bottom. Gives me two and a half inches thick. Okay, well that's it. Trimmed out, put a little wood putty in some of the cracks, sanded it down, two and a half inch thick tabletop. Let's go put it on this base behind me, see what it looks like. Got the base built last night. Two and a half inch square tubing, two and a half inch thick top. Make a couple of 48 inch round tables. So 
stack these two pieces of plywood. I want the grain to be going one direction on one level and the opposite direction on the other level. So one's going this way and one's going this way. So if this piece decides to cut or bow, you got this piece holding it down and vice versa. If this piece wants to bow, which it already kind of is, you can see how it's got a big gap right here. This piece of plywood here is bowed, but we're about to fix that. By crossing the grain. I'm sure there's a million ways to do this, but this is what works for me, and it's quick and easy. So I stay, I stay with it. That's the center. Here, I have a free circle cutting jig. My router attached to it. I've used this many, many times, and I use these little dowel pins to go through the hole. Depending on which one I'm using. Today we're doing four foot. So I'm gonna drill a, a drill hole here, that diameter. So what I like to do, you can see that the five foot diameter hole here is kind of messed up. The flies are coming apart a little bit. It's because I put a little dab of CA glue on here and it just ensures that this thing won't come out of here. And I also put a weight. That weight creates a little bit of drag, but it's extra security. Make sure this stays down so nothing happens to the router bit. This is Starbond medium with the accelerator. Thank you, Starbon. I use this all the time, I love it. And I'm gonna get a little aggressive with the depth of the cut because I wanna get this over with. And it's a brand new bit, so I'm pretty confident. So back up a little bit and I'll get this going. perfectly flat. Now we'll cut some trim to hide that ply. These tabletops are gonna be covered up with the tablecloth all the time. That's why I'm not too worried about having two seams, one on one side, one on the other. And it's also why I'm not concerned with a bunch of nail holes. Probably don't even need to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Cut a sheet of plywood in half, you can use whatever kind of plywood you want. This is getting a clear coat with a tablecloth, so I'm not too concerned with the type of plywood, but you can easily get oak or birch or uh, maple or whatever, stain it, clear coat it, and let the wood show. 
with no tape cloth, or you can do it this way. Overlap the grain this way, find your center, drill a hole, lay down your pivot point, and set your router. So with this nice new bit, I went a little aggressive. So I went about a quarter inch, three eighths, locked it, made a circle. Unlocked it, got a little more aggressive, lock it, make another circle. Unlock it, plunge, make a circle. Plunge, make a circle. Plunge, finish it off. That's how I've been doing it for years. It's always worked. I've never bought a circle cutting jig. I just use scrap half inch plywood. Go slow with your circles. Don't try to chew that much out at a time. You're gonna have a lot of problems that you don't want. Routers are very dangerous. So take it easy with the router and the depth of each cut and you should be fine. When you get finished up, you can cut a piece of eighth inch trim on your table saw. So I usually get a one by two. I get three eighth inch wide strips out of it and it's easily pliable. Glue it down, start in the middle is what I like to do with a couple of tacks. Bend it around a couple more, bend it around a couple more, bend it around a couple more, and you won't have any issues. Now when you're done and the glue dries, you'll see little voids on top here. Just fill it in with wood filler. Sand it down, it looks really smooth, really nice. Now over here on these, what did we do? We cut a top and a bottom piece of half inch plywood, same dimensions. Customer asked for two and a half inches thick, so the middle spacer is at an inch and a half thick. Plus a half, plus a half gives me two and a half. Spacers in the middle, spacers on the sides. And again, I took the poplar, this was a uh, one by four, and I wanted my trim on this one to be a quarter inch. So what I did was I cut off two and a half inches first, width wise, stood it up, resawed it on the table saw at a quarter inch. Ended up with two pieces, one for this side, one for this side. And the drop off cut filled this part in here the two ends. Little wood filler for any voids, sand. Now this is going to get primed and painted black. So I'm not too concerned with the different colors here. Although you could probably stain this and clear coat it and it would look beautiful just like that. Quick tabletops. Hope you guys enjoy this how-to on the tabletops. Two different variations. I'll be doing a few more videos like this with welding, uh, a little more tabletop instructions and how to get things done fast. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time.